Welcome to Ticketmaster Studios. I'm Dave Archer. This is our series where we take a look at some of the players out there that could affect the Falcons and the National Football League. And really, this is one of those best player available. You've heard that a number of times. Here's some of the guys that I think have a great value that you might want to look, take a look at. Let's start at the running back position. Bijan Robinson, you could argue Bijan Robinson is the best player in the draft. I would listen to that argument. 5'11, 215, ran 4'46 at the combine. 21 career games, so he's not overloaded. This is not a player that's been worn down by a series of carries in college. Had over almost 2,500 yards rushing, 33 touchdowns, can catch the ball in the backfield. He broke 104 tackles last year alone. He's got great speed. He's got excellent balance. Look at the vision right here. Sets up the block, stays in behind the block, and then the explosion, the short area quickness and explosion to hit the hole. He can break tackles, as I talked about, 104 of those. He was able to get the ball in the end zone, had a couple of 200-yard rushing days for the Texas Longhorns. The Longhorns haven't had somebody drafted in the first round since 2015. I think Bijan Robinson potentially has the potential to do that. I want you to see a couple of his catches here. This is one Quinn Ewers forced out of the pocket. Look at this grab. Bijan Robinson, that's a running back, catches the ball along the sideline. And this might have been the best catch of the year by a running back against Iowa State, my alma mater. Big play there, Bijan Robinson. Let's shift gears to a couple of wide receivers. How about Quinton Johnston, the big wide receiver at TCU? Six foot four, 215 pounds, ran 4.49 at the combine, has 32 career games, but it was this year where he really burst on the scene. 60 receptions, over 1,000 yards, and six touchdowns, and he helped guide TCU to that national championship game against Georgia. He was outstanding all year. When I say vertical threat now, this guy is the definition of that. Caught to the tune of almost over 18 yards of reception. You can see run after the catch is certainly there. A lot of big receivers that have top end speed can't run after catch, not this guy. This guy has an excellent blend, size, speed, short area quickness. The catch radius is outstanding, as you can imagine, at six foot four. Uh, an outstanding player that I think is gonna be evaluated on one season, and that's this year, and it was a great year for Quinton Johnston, the outstanding receiver at TCU. Jackson Smith and Jigba. Outstanding player for Ohio State, and why not? Ohio State has been pumping wide receivers into the National Football League for the last several seasons. This guy is as good as it gets, and I think this guy is an in-between-the-numbers guy. Look at him make people miss in the open field. He has the ability to run after catch and put the ball in the end zone. Doesn't have a lot of top-end speed, but it was his 2021 season, 95 receptions, almost 1,600 yards, and nine touchdowns. Uh, is what really burst him on the scene. And this is a guy, here he is against the fade, tracks the ball extremely well, reels the ball in, but I think his ability to do other things. And here's one where he catches the ball, a little jet sweep with him out of the backfield. Jackson, Jackson Smith in Jigba, an outstanding player for Ohio State. I think that his guy has a chance to be a player. How about this guy, Brian Branch? Defensive back slash safety, call him whatever you want to, call him a tackler. This guy is as good a tackler as you're going to see in the open field. Not the biggest dude in the world, six feet, 190, ran 4.58, which is not wowing anybody, but he played 49 games at Alabama. Extremely experienced, 1,682 snaps as a player for the Crimson Tide. I talked about his tackling ability, his ability to play the run and the pass extremely well. You see him coming off the edge there to sack the quarterback. Here he is in the backfield making a play. That's all he did was make plays. Number 14 was around the football all the time for Alabama. You just never saw him miss any tackles. Now, he could add a little bulk maybe, but I love this guy. This guy can play everywhere. He's got a tremendous knowledge of the game. Plays extremely smart. That's uh, Brian Branch, the, wide, the, the corner the, or safety or whatever you want to call him for Alabama. How about Zay Flowers? Talk about a guy that can operate in short spaces now. Wait till you see some tape on this kid. If you haven't seen the Boston College uh, product, 5'9", 182, ran 4'4 four, four at the combine. Look at the short area quickness. You saw him make a miss right there. This is a guy that doesn't have great speed, a great size, good speed, but unbelievable quickness. So you start talking about a guy that puts in the, you, you put in the slot that, that you can't cover. He's going to run away from defenders to the interior. You better have a pretty good nickelback to cover Zay Flowers out of Boston College, outstanding wide receiver that I think has a chance to affect the draft early on. No question about it. Let's get back to the defensive side of the football. How about the linebacker? Because you haven't talked about any linebackers. How about Drew Sanders? 
Outstanding linebacker from Arkansas. Transfer from Alabama. Played safety early on in his career, but this guy had a chance to get after the quarterback this year at Arkansas. First year as a starter, he played linebacker, had over 100 tackles, nine and a half sacks, but his patience and then his ability to close and put the ball carrier on the ground is what stands out about Drew Sanders. Look at the patience here. Stays on the backside, fills the hole. That's what I love about this guy. A lot of these guys can run and hit, but they get out of position. They run themselves out of the position. He doesn't do that. Drew Sanders is one of these guys that's smart, plays with a lot of uh, moxie and know-how, but when he gets there, he puts the ball carrier on the ground. Drew Sanders, an outstanding linebacker out of Arkansas. Look for him to go no later in that second round sometime. Some other guys that I think could be available uh, for, the, for the Falcons as you begin to start thinking about the best of play, players available. Um, let's look at, the line, look at the tight end position. How about Darnell Washington, everybody knows who Darnell Washington is, the monster tight end out of Georgia. Outstanding player there. I think he has a chance to go early on. Jordan Battle, the other safety at Alabama. Can you imagine? Two safeties playing the way Brian Branch and Jordan Battle did. Jordan Addison, transfer from, from Pitt, was the Blitnikoff Award winner two years ago. Had an outstanding year last year at USC in their resurgence. Michael Mayer, the outstanding tight end at, uh, at Notre Dame. We know how much Arthur Smith loves tight ends. There's two of them on the board here. Jameer Gibbs, the transfer from Georgia Tech, had a really good year in his only season as a member of the Crimson Tide. And Trenton Simpson, a little bit smaller linebacker than Drew Sanders, the one we just talked about, but a run and hit linebacker that got it done at Clemson. They're some of the best players available. That's just the tip of the iceberg. This can be a lot of fun this year in the draft.